welcome back everyone to our second episode of abap on btp learning with me amrit so in our last episode we started our this playlist we discussed the agenda the introduction and we started the evolution of sap software we discussed the sap r3 architecture where we had the presentation layer application layer was completely dedicated for the logic and writing of abap programs then your database layer where data was supposed to be stored so few important note points related to this sap r3 architecture this solution of sap was called ecc that is enterprise central component this solution of sap software was called ecc that is enterprise central component here in this case so i can say till this period sap do not have their own databases so did not had its own database i mean to say sap did not had developed any database of its own so all the companies who were supposed to implement the sap solution who were using sap software what they were doing is they were simply using other companies database other companies databases and lots of database providers were lots of vendors are over there who were providing the databases like oracle has its own database oracle db mysql is there ms sql etc so this was called the enterprise central component highly it be and this was the third generational sap solution here we were writing our application were writing abap programs to develop the abap based applications based applications right so in this presentation layer your sap gui gui graphical user interface was the front end this was dedicated for user interaction and what we were developing was we were developing our module pool based application so from our application layer we were developing module pool based applications pool based applications and alb reports or alb based applications for the graphical user interface in the bit, in the database layer we had oracle database or mysql etc any vendor are in the market depending on the company when we were implementing this our solution we were simply supposed to get the data out of there to get the database from any other vendor so this solution was called enterprise central component where we were developing module pool based application and this happened till ecc system now certain evolution came into market which led to our sap cloud platform over the period of time the thing was after 2010 this was a era of change in the entire market if you go way back at this era you are going to also find it out so many changes were happening in the market in this period of time web based applications started to become popular web based application started to become popular and what we were supposed to see here sap also saw this revolution and they also wanted to expose their sap data their sap data right to the browser 
so that's where the landscape of sap development completely changed right from here the landscape of sap development changed sap application development completely changed and how does it change earlier only a web based application were there here sap used the browsers programming language browsers programming language which is sap ui5 sorry which is javascript sap used the browsers programming language javascript javascript is something if you check it is the browsers programming language this is a free open source programming language open source programming language and using this open source programming language sap also developed one framework for them developed one framework which was called sap ui5 in 2012 later on with some enhancements in it with some changes in it sap named it fury with some development guidelines guidelines so the landscape of sap development completely changed here things became completely different front end development development and back end development front end and back end development two different types of development are here if you check we are going to also see the same stuff so the thing is now the from time of a point of view front end developers needed the need of front end developer completely change uh, completely raised in the market and the sap ui5 developers and from the back end sap above developers the combination of these two are called sap full stack developers the combination that is developers having idea of both the back end back end that is above and front end that is fury are called full stack sap developers so keep these things always in your mind now <clears throat> over this period of time another revolution came sap also developed their own database own database here and they named it hana sap developed their own database and what they did they named this database as hana hana stands for high performance analytical appliance analytical appliance hana stands for high performance analytical appliance so using this database now what sap did using this database sap came with its fourth generational solution so i am going to give here a fourth point sap s4 hana that's where we are working working currently right so what you are going to see here using this abap on hana so using the abap on hana technology logi sap developed its fourth generation sap solution 
which was called S4HANA. Fourth generation SAP solution, which was called S4HANA, developed on the HANA database. HANA is a very powerful database, right? In this course, we are going to utilize the HANA for our ABAP on BTP development. So even if you see here, S, S stands for simplified. Simplified for is for fourth generation. Generation SAP solution. Lots of changes were made as compared to ECC system. With this Hana coming into picture, the capacity of or this solution was completely, I should say, is completely focused on focused on utilizing utilizing the capability of HANA by using code to data paradigm. Code to data paradigm means all the application, most of the computation and logical part we are going to execute directly on the database layer. So in this solution, we are supposed to execute, we are supposed to execute all our, or I should say most of our code intensive logic on the database layer. Whenever I'm saying database layer in S4 HANA system, I simply means HANA layer. This is also known as code push down or code to data paradigm data paradigm that's what it is all about our s4 hana solution now if i talk about this s4 hana solution this is there in two different flavors this s4 hana solution is there in two different flavors first one we call it as SAP S4 HANA on premise and SAP S4 HANA on cloud. That's what here we are going to see two different flavors SAP S4 HANA on premise and SAP S4 HANA on cloud. This solution that is what SAP is offering, it is available in two different flavors. On-premise is something that we uh, as a company, let's say if I am the owner of company, we are supposed to own everything once we purchase the license of SAP software. So we are going to own each and everything hardware like a dedicated base system is needed. Infrastructure. Databases. Each and everything all the wires computer systems. Everything is going to be needed and we are going to do the initial investment for that as a company. As a company we are supposed to do the initial investment all the investment for this correct that's what is my sap s4 hana on premise system then what is this sap s4 hana cloud system this is what we call rise with sap this is what sap is calling sap is calling as rise with sap that is moving all our solutions to sap cloud systems moving all our solutions to sap cloud system here in this case what sap is doing sap is providing us 
a ready to use computer over the internet on the browser where we can simply log in and start doing the implementation where we can simply log in and we can start doing the implementation that is the thing here <clears throat> on premise and on cloud so on this in the cloud domain sap has also prepared one very important platform and a very budging platform which is our btp is all about so hit the subscribe button for more informative videos like this one we're gonna continue from the next part we'll start right from the btp in this episode we discussed our the evolution of sap solutions over the period of time this was called our s4 hana system yeah this solution was called s4 hana system came in this solution came in 2015 right so that is all for this video we will continue each and everything from the next part one more thing please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more informative videos like this one thank you